guys come on this side. Beautiful. Yes, wonderful. Dance is a, is a very strange occupation altogether because imagine that you wake up in the morning, you go to the studio and you stare at yourself in the mirror. It takes a lot of gut to do that. But let me tell you, dancers are not narcissistic beings who are totally in love with their own image. We are extremely critical people. I was asked, could you be a mentor to somebody? Well, that's a huge responsibility. With the years passing, I've noticed that particularly the young dancers are really interested in what I have to say. With Jason, he can analyze it. He has the capability of analyzing it and taking out of it things that he needs for his own development. And I think he possesses that kind of intelligence which enables him to learn from things that are established. Very curious human being, very vulnerable in a way. He's not stuck in, in any way. He's, he's open for new experiments, multiple talents, and endless interest in new developments of art and technology. What I'm trying to do is call myself a dance visual artist. I'm meeting lots of resistance with this because people really want to keep these divisions separated and have a clear line, even with galleries uh, who have been interested in my work. But they're like, so you're a photographer? And I'm like, no. I'm like, oh, so you're, you're a film artist? I'm like, no, 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 I'm a dance artist. And they're like, there's not many people doing this. And I said, I don't know anyone who's really <laughs> doing this. Woo! New ideas. Hot. But when I was trying to explain it to my teacher, when she was asking why I wasn't going to go to this art school, I started to lose words and my hands started moving. And I realized my whole life I've been training this and ignoring the symbiotic relationship between my mind and my body. And I realized I call myself an art artist, but I know nothing about this vessel that I live in. And this is how I experience the world. And if I don't know anything about it, then how can I call myself an artist? That's possible. He's more of like a life coach than an artistic coach, which I think is probably the best thing you could get from any mentor, or as he prefers, my tour mentor. Jason, we're being followed. Oh. <laughs> to have him offer his life's experiences and these intimate details with me affects me greatly in the way I will perceive my own life and the way I can go about informing my work. I think it's very generous. I want to be the gateway for him to meet other people, meet other artists. I want to just open the doors for him. Old Chinese proverb, I open the door, you have to walk through yourself. Coming here and being treated the way I've been treated is just unlike, it's, it's unequivocal to anything I've ever, been, I've ever experienced. It's unlike anything I've ever felt before. I mean, I'm, I'm in a service industry where I'm the exact opposite. People could care less about me. You know? <laughs> and they're barking orders at me all the time. And so to go from one end of the spectrum to the next is just so surreal. And, you know, and the way they just take care of me and the way Yuri's taking care of me. And um, I would say it's absolutely changed my life. <laughs>